welcome back to another video. If you happen to be new here, my name is Erica. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Door Set Doorstep. I am a stay at home slash work at home mom and I'm also a grandma to one little baby girl that just turned one yesterday. Uh, I got a bunch of kids, mostly grown, a bunch of animals. Um, I love to do homemaking videos, taking care of my home, taking care of my family. Um, also, we do the occasional DIY, fixing up this 80 plus year old house that we have. And sometimes they're small projects, sometimes they're big projects, but mainly it's just daily life vlogging. I love to vlog into the camera more than voiceovers. I prefer the face to face. It's just what I'm comfortable with, what I prefer to do. So if that appeals to you, if you think you'd enjoy my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around. We have a lot of fun over here. I have the best viewers. So uh, welcome back if you are a returning viewer. I know most of you probably are. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing a few things in my living room. I'm gonna be taking down that shelf that we have. I, you know, Mary put the new shelf up and I'm gonna take the old one down. We're gonna, I do have plans for that in an upcoming video. And I got a couple new things I wanted to share with you, just some fun things that I picked up. And I'm gonna do a little shopping now. I think I'm gonna run out. I have to make a return and I'm just gonna probably run into a Goodwill. Just, I'm not really sure. I'm always trying. I'm always on the lookout for certain things. Never quite finding what I'm looking for, but I'm always looking. So thought that I would do that. And then of course, this evening I am going to make dinner, clean my house, do all the things. So hopefully you're looking for some motivation because I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna be uh, making a recipe, not, not, not really a new recipe. I've made Big, Big Mac salad, I've made Big Mac Sloppy Joes. I can't even remember, but these are Big Mac smash burgers, but don't get too excited. I'm not making smash burgers because I don't have like a griddle to put them on, but I'm just gonna kind of like ground up you know, do like ground beef and do Big Mac tacos. So it'll be good. So I'll share that with you if you're looking for a dinner idea. I love Big Macs. They're like my favorite thing at McDonald's. So good, but they are all like $6 now. So you can make the same stuff at home. So I'm gonna be doing that for dinner. And then I just, you know, have to run my vacuum and all the things because of all the pets. So um, welcome back. Let's get this day started because it is already after lunchtime and I gotta get going. So this is my shelf. I love this shelf. This was made from some old pallets that Marion was given and then we made these with just some dowels he cut and then these little half circle wooden pieces we got from Hobby Lobby. So it's great. It was perfect for our stockings and I love, I'm excited to decorate this throughout the, the year, different seasons. But we have this shelf up here that we put up a while back when we had it decorated different and obviously that does not work there. So that is gonna come down. I have plans to put that somewhere else so i'll be sharing that soon but i'm gonna have him take that down then i'm gonna patch the holes and then i'm gonna repaint over that whenever all that is dried and sanded and everything and then i have some new decor that i'm gonna put up here that i'll show you in this video so for a while i've been talking about a bedroom makeover that is coming up soon I did order some stuff on Amazon and unfortunately I thought it was going to be here way sooner than it is so I have to wait for those things but that will be coming up soon. This is my return. I got to take this back to Ross. It's just a blanket but I do have a little sneak peek of some of the things over there. I'm going to go ahead and get my bed made then Marianne is going to take my shelf down. And this, our exterior walls, our, our house is made of cinder blocks, so these walls are really, really hard. And he had to put the anchors in that. So I'm gonna, I don't know if he can take those out or not. If he can, I'll have him take them out. If not, we're just gonna put putty over them and then we'll sand them. And then I have this paint. This is Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt. 
and I'll just touch it up, but I already love it so much more with, <laughs> with that shelf gone. And this picture and this mirror are gonna be put in different places. I do love both of these and I'm still gonna use those on my wall. My daughter-in-law, Danielle, made me that one Christmas and I love it. So I'm definitely reusing those. But I did get a new piece to go up here, so I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But right now, I am gonna go to Ross and take this back and I'm kind of like looking for a few picture frames, like wooden picture frames. I'm gonna see what Goodwill has, see what Ross has. I know Hobby Lobby's got some beautiful, beautiful ones, but they're $20 each and I'm not paying that much. So I stopped in CVS to pick up my medicine, but I forgot that they are closed for lunch until two o'clock, I think. But I did pick up some pictures that I printed because like I told you, I wanted to get some picture frames. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted Paisley's first fo birthday photo shoot that Michael and Danielle had done. And so I printed some of them off because I was like, first of all, I couldn't decide which ones. So I printed a few. We'll see which ones I frame. But I did get this one in a five by seven. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go over there and check out <laughs> the pictures I posted. Is she not the most beautiful? I mean, like what in the world? So that's gonna go definitely in a frame that I have. And then let me, when I put you up here, it's really dark. Maybe it won't be so dark. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, then I got, also I need to, I have the Lillian Fox nail strips on. I need to redo them. They just, I don't know, don't like them. Um, this is so cute. It was between this one and this one for the 5 by 7 Marion was no help. We both loved both of them. I'm like, I can't, ha I can't print every picture off, but how cute is she? The sweetest. And then, of course, this one I love with Michael and Danielle and her. And then this one, she is just prettiest picture I've ever seen of her. Is she not the prettiest with the little pearls? Her eyes are so beautiful. I'm going to run to Ross, probably Goodwill, and then if I get anything, of course, I will show you when I get home. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break
Okay, so I'm home from all places. Hi, what did I do? I went to Ross and then I actually was returning something and the other day when I bought that that I was returning, I had seen something and I picked it up and then when I went in there today, I'll explain, they didn't have any more. But, um, so I got something there, then I got a couple things at Goodwill and then I went into Burlington Coat Factory. I haven't been in there in so long because it moved from being close to us to further away. So I was like, I'll just go in there and just, I had like half an hour. And their prices, I forgot how amazing their home decor prices are, like those two green pillows for $20 for those. And they were good quality and you could take the covers off and wash them. I just don't, don't think I had any use for them, but they were so pretty. And with the tassels all down the side, really good quality. Those pillows would be at least $30, probably $40 over at Home Goods, And it was $20 there. So if you have a Burlington Coat Factory, they have really great prices on their home decor. I didn't even have a chance to look at the toys and the clothes, but I'm just gonna have to go back. So I thought I'd show you the couple things that I picked up when I was at Ross the other day. I did, this was in like the spring section. It was $7.99, but you know this is my favorite color and I actually love the little like I don't know what that's called but the texture on it and they had three of these this was the biggest one and then they had two smaller ones and they were planters but I bought this for my kitchen because I do have a lot of white in my kitchen but I like to have pops of this color so I thought that because this was such a big wide um, top that I can use it as a canister because you know I have these two white canisters that you know, or matching and I don't know. I just thought maybe I could put everything into this one. It will fit a lot more, but that is so beautiful for $7.99. I have a couple gift cards, so I didn't really spend any of my own money. I had some Christmas gift cards that I used for these things. So when I was in um, Burlington Coat Factory, I was looking for wooden frames like I told you, but I also found this that has a wooden frame and it's long. I like that it's long and it was $7.99 it says in this house we pray and it's got like a it's like torn paper and it's got like little flecks of something in it but this I thought would be perfect to go above that shelf because I have that picture that says the Dorset family and it's kind of long and narrow too so I thought one on each side of the mirror that I bought would be really pretty I just saw it and I thought that would be perfect I love what it said and then as I was thinking where could I put it it's like perfect I'll put it there then at Goodwill, this doesn't have the price tag on it, but this was $2.99 for just another old uh, rolling pin. I bought one recently that I found there, and now I seem like I see them all the time. And then this I thought was so pretty for fall. This was only $2.99. How pretty is that for, for fall decor with like a light in it or with some candy in it, or I don't even know, but there was a woman that saw me pick it up and she said, oh, that's from the 60s. My mom had the canister set of all of that. so. It doesn't like have a seal on it, but I picked it up and almost like I dropped this. I almost broke it, but I thought it was so beautiful for fall decor. I'll put it up on my shelf or something. I just love this like ambery color glass for the fall. So anyway, that's what I picked up, but I got to make dinner now. It's really, it's almost five o'clock. Jackson's going to go to youth group pretty soon. So, or in a little while. So I'm going to make my Big Mac tacos, I guess is what we'll call them. Big Mac tacos. But Marion came up here and took out the two. Did he take them out? He, yeah, he took out the two anchors. He's going to have to still take these out, I think. Yeah, I asked him if he could take them out or somehow he, maybe he just cut the tips off. I don't know, but we're going to seal that up or put some putty on it. But I'm going to show you what I got for this shelf before I start dinner. So I had a gift card from Christmas to Home Goods. So I saw this mirror. It was $19.99 and it's this like it's black it's it actually looks more gold but really when you take it out it's it's got a lot of black in it with this gold over the top of it they also had a white one that was real like shabby chic and i almost went with the white one but madison was with me and she voted i get this one because i'm wanting to bring in some different textures and colors not just all you know grays and whites and greens so i thought that this would be perfect for this shelf up here i wanted something that was like i don't know not too huge and so I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to probably hang it on the wall. And then that picture right there. And then the other picture I got will go on either side of it. And then we'll put some decor on the shelf. So I have these two crocs that I put my utensils in. And I'm going to transfer. This is wider than these. So I'm going to put as much as I can in here. Or like the ones that I use the most. 
and then I'll put the rest in one of these. And then I thought I have this greenery. I don't know. I thought I could maybe put it in the other one. We'll see. But I'm going to use this for the ones that I know I use most often. that <laughs> we'll see but this fits so many I have a few that are in the dishwasher but I love it how how wide it is and I just think that's so pretty I also moved my little wax warmer because it's too it's too similar to this so I moved it over by my microwave but I think that's so pretty and then I just stick this one down on the bottom of the island and I have more room for other, other things in here still. Maybe in the spring when I take down Easter, I mean not Easter, <laughs> Valentine's, maybe I'll stick this up there. That might be kind of pretty. I really love these white Crocs. I get them at home for like $9.99 or $12.99, but we'll just stick it there for now. Just trying to see how this would look on the wall. I think I love it. And I'll put some greenery and then I can still have room for other shelf decor. I know I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm working on that. I said I needed to make dinner, but my dryer just quit and I'm gonna get those out before they get wrinkled. Then we'll work on dinner and then we'll work on styling that shelf and I need to do a little cleaning. putting the putty up he, has, he said he just like made it to where their levels are flat against the wall so those he didn't have to you just like cut the tips off of that yeah just use flat razor blade yeah so then it'll probably be tomorrow before that's dry but i'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff on the wall and then i'll just take it down to sand it and paint it tomorrow all right y'all this is what you need to make the sauce for this and i feel like if you make this sauce you can make anything taste like a big mac like big mac salad big mac sloppy joe Big Mac tacos, you just ground up your beef. You can make the the burgers, smash burgers, just with a patty, or you can ground it up and put it in Sloppy Joe with the sauce or tacos with the sauce on top. All right, get away, get away. He's a bully. You leave my Chloe alone. Come on, Chloe. Forever breaking up fights with these two. Yeah, you be sweet. Good boy. So, like I was saying, um, if you make this sauce, then you just add like American cheese, lettuce, pickles if you want, and it tastes like a Big Mac. So, unfortunately, I don't have, which I think is the most important ingredient, I had no idea, I always have pickle relish, 
but I do not have any today. I always have it because Marion loves it. And I actually do not like pickles at all. So I'm not like, we just have these left over from a charcuterie board. So I'm going to actually just cut these up because you can't have a Big Mac without like pickle relish. I don't like pickles, but I like them when they're cut up really small. And I think it's important in this. So you just use mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, pickle relish, some minced onion, garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper. And I will link down below Jennifer's recipe. Y'all, that is delicious. If you like the Big Mac sauce, I'm gonna put just a dash of sugar in mine because I didn't have a relish. So, um, you know, it, it's missing a little bit of sweetness, I think. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of sugar in it. And then we're gonna let that sit while I finish cooking the meat. Y'all, these are delicious. You gotta try this. Such an easy, kind of like twist on tacos. To me, it's even better than regular tacos. So good. All right, dinner, I finished dinner and cleaned the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like style the shelf. We still have to, when that's totally dry, sand it and then paint it. So, but I want, for the sake of the video, I wanna go ahead and sort of like see where everything's gonna go and then I can just easily take it all down when we do that. So maybe in my next video, I'll show you it, you know, completely finished, but for now, Obviously, I'm going to leave up my Valentine's decor for a little while longer. Today is the 7th, so that's going to come down pretty much right after Valentine's Day. Don't scratch my chair, Chloe. No, no. So, so yeah, but everything else will be, I don't know. I just kind of like set that up there. I was just trying to figure out, but I'm going to probably tweak it. You know, I'm going to add stuff to it. I'm always going to be changing it, but for today, we'll put up a few main things, and then we'll see what it looks like and go from there.
All right, so I need some more knickknacks. I need to go downstairs and check my picture frames there. I feel like I can add more pictures. I, you know, I love to decorate with family photos, so um, I feel like I can add more there. And of course, I need to fix the wall, but like I said, I'll show you that in the next one. But it's a good start. I love that mirror and then the two brown frames on either side of it. It's just kind of like different than what I'm used to, but I really like it. I also am going to put this uh, mirror that I took down I haven't decided I have this I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago I think I might spray paint it and put it in my room I don't know I haven't decided but I do have this mirror so there's a couple places that I thought about putting it so one place I was thinking I could put it was over here above the trash can there's just like this long narrow I don't kind of look like there's a window on this side I feel like it will bring in the light I think that's probably where I'm going to put it or I thought about putting it in my laundry room above my washer and dryer but the only thing is when you're in there you can't really see it unless you're like in the laundry room all right kind of like i don't know will hopefully reflect the light from the window over here and that'll be really pretty with like a little wreath on it too we'll have to see i'll leave it there for a couple days see if i like it show you it's empty I did this two days ago so I'll show you how much hair I get up after two days maybe you don't want to know but you don't see what you have in front of you or maybe I'm not enough for you so maybe I should go if I had known from the start this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts because I don't want to waste my time Okay, that's after just, let's see, one, can't get it out. <laughs> one sweep, one pass on the couch and after two days. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy how much you get up and you don't even see it on the couch at all. And some fabrics attract hair and some don't. So those gray pillows, they don't, they don't have any hair on them, but the red ones, oh my gosh.
Okay, y'all come out of jail now. Vacuum is up. <laughs> they had to go to jail. They just bark and attack and I just can't take it. Yeah, you know where it's at. <laughs> He's smart. It's like, I know you had it out. Uh-huh. I put it up. You just checking, double checking. You're so cute. house is clean I always like to clean the floors really good the night before I have Paisley just because she's crawling around she'll be walking before too long she's like pulling up on everything constantly so it won't be long but I wanted to get my floors done at least so I'm gonna go ahead and say good night thank you so much for hanging out with me again you know I love you guys like I said at the beginning if you're new um, I'd love for you to subscribe if you'd like to if you like homemaking content and if you enjoyed this video I'd love to be friends with you so make sure to say hi in the comments if you do and uh, remember, I'm going to be tweaking that. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be fixing that. So in future videos, Marion actually said he could probably come up and sand that now because he didn't do it real thick and it's pretty much dry, but we'll get that painted and it will look good as new. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up though. If you did enjoy it, you know, I love y'all. I'm praying for you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.